out there, and welcome to Barbatos Rex's Heavy Metal Mania. Today we're going to be going over new vinyl that has just arrived, War Kings, Revenge, Primal Fear... Oh, wait a minute. This is the wrong video. Wrong channel. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Scrap that. Let me uh, grab uh, my paints and stuff. Hold on. Cancel all this. Uh, I'll be right back. Well, hello, my friends. Welcome back to the bench. Today we are going to be doing a quick video just to introduce you to my new color. Um, in my limited color run line, uh, the first one I did was black and blue. That is right here. Black and blue, too. Second was, look at that, Copper Fire, which has sold quite well, just as good as the blue. And my new third color we're going to show you today, Chroma Green. Um, it's got like a sparkle in it, kind of a chromish gold added to it. Uh, when I saw a sample from the guy who made these two for me, the company, I said, you know what, I'm going to use that as my next color. I'm trying to use colors that are kind of unique, don't fit in with my other lineups. And because um, these are short runs, so to speak, I put limited color on all of them. Because uh, I don't know how long they can make these for me. They're doing me a favor doing them in these short batches. So I put that on the package. One day they might be gone. And, uh, and for that, I use the word limited. Um, for now, as long as I can keep reordering them and you guys keep buying them, I'll keep uh, ordering and, and shipping them to Gundam Pros. Now, I work with Gundam Pros. Shout out to Walter and Rich. Um, because uh, it's a limited run. They're like, you know, short batches of these things. So uh, it's, it's, it's easy to deal with them. They're friends. They're local. We meet each other. And um, I drop them off and they, and they carry them just for me. So that's why they're available right there. It's, it's done really well for them and for me. So we'll work out with these tall, big bottle, two, two ounce um, size jars. This color will always probably still remain an exclusive between me and Gundam Pros. All my other new colors, my new, my new metal colors, these are available at Splash. And they are selling quite well. And I want to thank you for that. And uh, if you buy a, a whole set of the new colors, you'll be entered in a nice giveaway prize for more kits and an airbrush like we did for the first anodized color sets. Now, I wish I could find the blue, but here is the Copper Fire, which is beautiful. The blue, I looked, I cleaned the room up. I must have put them somewhere, and I can't find it. But you guys, if you watch the video or if you own it, you know what the blue looks like. And going forward, I'm going to show you what this looks like. So... Without much of a delay, we're going to go ahead, use my swallowtail. We're going to shake this up. Actually, it shook up already. Look at that. I, got a, I asked them for a giant size bearing in it, and there it is. It's a real big bearing. So it does a really good job shaking it up. This is a pre-thinned lacquer. So you're going to clean it with lacquer thinner. And uh, it doesn't really need any thinning, and it shoots to almost any airbrush. Um... And we're going to go ahead and show you what we're going to shoot it on. We're going to put it on black, white, and gray. And maybe we'll put it on this fin here. This rudder that we sprayed with the uh, electric spray gun in my previous video, which was kind of impressive. Look at the job it did. Look at that. I mean, that is beautiful and smooth. So we're going to spray them over these quick, quick, just so you guys can see the color on camera. And then we'll put the link below where you guys can go ahead and buy it. There's about 44 bottles in the first batch. You've seen it in the thumbnail. Um, that's just about all of them. Um, they're going to sell probably pretty quick, but these are already on reorder and should be in this week, should uh, it come to that. So anyway, without any more of a delay, let's head over to the booth and check this paint out. All right, here we are at the booth. I'm going to show you right now quickly. Ah, we're using the new Cool Tootie, the airbrush compressor I reviewed a couple videos ago. And, let me put this back in the mount here. Sorry, guys. All right, we're back. The mount was causing me some trouble. Boy, that wasn't good. Anyway, we are using the new Cool 2D. It has been running really good. Uh, really, these are self-sealed. Watch. Open it up like a bottle of Coke. And, uh, yeah, it's been running great. Um, I let it run all day so I can keep testing its uh, cool, coolness and uh, longevity so far she's running great let's go ahead we're gonna start with black on the base because that's where it gets its primary personally the best look 
starting to come in, you can see it. Now it's starting to come into the shine. Almost uh, gold-like, here we go, now it's coming in. Check that out. It lays down really nice. We're gonna go in for a nice slower and closer final coating here. The 2D has kicked in, look at that. It looks a little more green on the different lights, so I'll show you at the bench what we're talking about. Now we're gonna show it to you over some gray. You guys aren't really gonna see the color here until uh, it really starts to build up. You can blast it here, this is just air, with uh, to dry it off quick, but it's a pretty quick drying paint. You see it? All right, we're gonna let that sit. We're gonna put another coat on that as it dries a little bit. We're gonna go over white now. It's gonna be tough to see the white, I'll tell you right now on camera anyway. You can kind of see it there. Now, like I said, let's try it on this rudder here. And you can go in different strengths, so to speak. You can probably stop it right here if you wanted. It's almost color shift. Wow. Looks really color shifty. Like I, I didn't uh, order a color shift. I just like the way the gold chrome effect of it it had. Whatever you know. That's why I called it chroma, not quite chrome. You know. But it's a unique color that there's just not much out there that has this look. Look at that. Let's let that dry. All right, we're gonna go back in. Another heavier coat on the gray, and then uh, we'll head back to the bench and go over the results. I can turn off, hold on, the 2D, in case it's making too much noise. I got it, uh, the tank is quite full, it will run a, quite a bit, probably 20 minutes before this even starts to go down in pressure. There we go. So I think we're looking good. We got a different shade here altogether over the gray. There we go. Used it up. All right, we'll clean out the swallowtail, head back to the bench, go over the results. All right, my friends, back at the bench. Results are nice. Here we go. Over black. You can see where the chroma green comes into effect. It's kind of a green gold chromish. It's really nice. Here it is over the rudder. Flat surface gives you a completely different look. Look at the color in the jar until it hits the black. Now, of course, over gray, you're going to get this effect. And over white, you're going to get this effect. So kind of like three different paints in one jar, just like the others. Drastically different. <laughs> Look at that. Hold on, we can grab all three of these and then grab the fin. There we go. It's a good color for a car, actually, right? Look at that. Anyway, it, it lays down with a nice shine to it. So, really uh, sprays really good. I think I sprayed it through my point two, my point two eight uh, millimeter um, swallowtail. So yeah, I mean, it sprayed right through that the metallic. So no problem there. It's really fine. So there you go. That is the new color. Uh, I'll be deciding on what is next. I might do a poll to see what we can do next. But I like colors that are kind of unique, that don't really fit into any category. And that's what I'm looking for here. And uh, I do like these, this color quite a bit. I like greens. Anyway, I will have the link below. It is at Gundam Pros. And um, I'm going to take a minute here and tell you guys what is coming up. Um, first of all... 
my racks here. I ordered a couple more because I got some more gaps I got to fill. Um, they're on sale. These racks are on sale 25% off for the next two days at Typhoon Racks. Um, I found out by going there and looking for some that I needed, and there it was. Uh, I found out this morning. So it's a good thing I put this up to you guys. If you guys are looking for these racks, I believe they come with free shipping. So really can't be beat. These, these are the uh, smaller Mr. Color size jars. Here's the AK jars. It fits beautiful, and I have all different ones here. Here's custom color fits in there. I got my Gaia size. This is Sonin 7, and I got them all lined up here, and I got the corner one right here. So I'm going to have another one, I think, come all the way out to hold a few more. So, yeah, these are on sale, 25% off. I'll put a link below. It's at Typhoon, Typhoon Paint Mixers and Paint Racks. Uh, say hi to Robert. Great name. <laughs> he's, uh, he's been a really good uh, friend to the channel. And now I'm going to come back here and show you a couple items that are coming up very soon on the channel. We're going to be testing these extreme lacquers from t uh, testers. Uh, I got the entire lineup. This is just three. I reached back and grabbed them. Uh, Purplicious. What do we have here? Flaming Orange. What's this one? Lime Ice Lacquer. So it says on it, paint, primer, sealer, all in one. So supposedly these are like one-shot paints. We shall see. So uh, I'm going to test every single color. And uh, we're going to go over these. And hopefully they're as nice as these caps are. Look at that. So yeah, we're going to go, that's coming up very soon, hopefully within a week. Uh, also coming up, the mini spray gun, by no name, from Spray Gunner. Look at the size of this cup. I guess this is meant to be working on your cars. But this is coming up. Also, oops, hit the camera. Let me take a spin around, guys, for the next one that's coming up. Hold on. Don't get too dizzy. My turntable box is right there. Check it out. The Black Widow by Spectrum. This is now exclusively sold at um, Harbor Freight. And it's a dual output with dual individual pressure gauges and moisture traps. Giant tank inside. Holders. Handle. Everything. This thing weighs about 30 pounds. It's one of the heaviest airbrush compressors I've ever picked up in my life. I, could, if I, I couldn't pick it up sitting here. I'd have to stand up and use my knees. That's how heavy this is. I might have to weigh it. Just because I'm so curious as to how heavy this thing is. It's that heavy. But this is also uh, coming up. You can see my records in the back there. So, uh, yeah, let me spin back around. I'm trying to go a little slower. Gets a little dizzying. All right, guys, there you go. Well, that is the test of my new Chroma Green. Chroma Green. And, uh, yeah, I'll put a link below. It's at Gundam Pros. So don't forget, this is now available along with the restocks of the other. Oops, watch out there. The other two, which are now back in. And uh, don't forget, 25% off the paint racks I just showed you at Typhoon Racks and Paint Mixers. And I showed you the other two and three, uh, or three, I should say, video tests that are coming up very soon. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already. We do multiple videos a week. We might even do three this week. we got a lot of videos to go. And, uh, yeah, that is all. I want you guys to have a great Rest of your weekend, Memorial Day is coming up next week, and so maybe we'll do something for that too. Anyway guys, have a wonderful day, God bless, we'll see you in the next video.